Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the Benji Anfield vlog. So, tonight, whew, massive game. Absolutely huge. We cannot lose. We, we just can't. We can't go from Champions League finalists in 2017, 2018 to not getting out of our group in the 2018, 2019 Champions League season. That, for me, is just unthinkable. I said in the preview before the Watford game that basically what the Watford match PSG away and the <coughs> pardon me and the derby against Everton was basically the biggest week in Liverpool Football Club's history since the 2005 Champions League final and I'll stand by that because it's massive we're competing on more than one front this season and so far we're dealing very well with the league with our title challenge against Man City. Two points behind after 13 games. Our best ever start ever to a Premier League season. We've just got to keep it up. And that 3-0 win at Watford, I didn't see that coming. I thought maybe we'd, would, we would win, but not so comprehensively. Against a team that are very good, they have got a very talented squad and will, in my opinion, finish in the top 10. To beat them 3-0 was a massive statement. We've got to carry on that confidence and take that to Paris tonight. Now, we're coming up against an opposition that play in such a bull jive of a league, it's a joke. 15 points clear, it's not even December. It's it's ridiculous. They could play second string, third... Do you know what? I was watching PSG's under-19s against our under-19s under earlier on this evening. And uh, unlucky to the, to the Liverpool lads for losing 3-2. But they've still got still got destiny in their own hands. They can qualify in the last game, so fingers crossed for them. But if PSG really want to be one of those football clubs that are around for a very, very long time, they'll play a lot of these youngsters in the second half of the season in France. Because the league's won. It's won. So if if they really want to be a big club, they'll try and help their uh, the youngsters get through into the first team by playing them in games such as basically the second half of their season because it's done dusted whilst on us on the other hands every game is massive so yeah it's all good for PSG resting Neymar and Mbappe at the weekend when they beat to lose but we couldn't we, we don't have that affordability which you can say is brilliant because we play in the Premier League but at the same time it would be very very nice if we could have rested half our squad and then go into this game tonight we'd have fresh legs but listen we've had enough time confidence will be riding high Come off the international break, win 3 0. Let's carry it on. That stadium has got massive memories for us. Winning the 1981 European Cup final there. To me, that is the only tea talk you need. Go and replicate what those Liverpool players did tonight. This game's massive. It's absolutely massive. We win, we basically eliminate. We, we, we eliminate PSG from get, progressing in the Champions League. Think about that. That's massive. We came we came into this Champions League season in pot three. Now, people can ag agree or disagree with it all the one. In my opinion, if you're the finalists, you shouldn't be in that situation. Because if we'd won the Champions League, we would have been in pot one. So, UEFA, you really need to sort out your act because that's so unfair. If we can get PSG knocked out, it's just, you know, everybody else. A lot of, a lot of clubs will be wanting us to win tonight. Because they'll probably view PSG more of a threat than us. But, listen, we will get the job done tonight. I truly believe... I truly believe now we are just going to go on a run. And we are going to be hard to stop now. I truly believe we are just going to be at it every single game. Every game for me is now winnable. Not just winnable, they have to win it. They have to win it, basically. Uh, and, yeah... Go out, get the job done, and I think we will. I think, do you know what? I think we'll win 2-0 tonight. Yes, Neymar's a very good player. Yes, Mbappe's probably going to win numerous Ballon d'Ors in the future. And probably will go on to play for Real Madrid and win Champions Leagues in, in the future. But we're in the present. And I think we will go there tonight, do a, do a proper European job, which we haven't done all season, so we better start picking up our act very quickly. And, yeah... I don't think we'll just... Yeah, I think we'll win. 2-0. Salah, Mane, said it. We'll see what happens now. 
But no, get a win tonight, and then we go into Sunday with that derby, which is massive also. I can't remember who City play, but fingers crossed they drop points at the weekend. Because they're now happy, you know, into their last 16 after their draw with Leon last night. Now it's down to us. We've got a very, very important December coming up, which is going to be very, make, it's going to be make or break for us, which could provide a lot of stress for a lot of us. So, you know, let's kind of, let's make it a little bit easier. Win tonight, and that Napoli game is just a competition for who finishes top of the group. And if needs be, even bring some of the youngsters in. That's how important this game is tonight. This will define our season. I don't know if many people remember, but in the 2002-2003 season, we started the season very well. Then we played Middlesbrough away, and we lost 1-0. A couple of days later, we played Basel, in Basel. We had to win, and we drew 3-3, which meant we finished third in the group, and we went into the UEFA Cup. Our run from November to about January time was horrific. We didn't win a game. We won games in the League Cup, but we didn't win in the Premier League. It's probably the reason why we finished fifth that season. And it's probably the reason why Julier ended up leaving. Now, I'm not saying if we don't win tonight that we're going to finish fifth and it's all going to... But I truly believe if we win tonight, the Derby will win before we've even kicked off. That's how much confidence I'll be riding high. It's massive. It's huge. It's This, it will test what our squad is capable of this season. Are we going to be the Neely men again? Or can we compete on two levels? Can we make a good run of it in the Premier League and also try and make up for, make up for last season in the Champions League by going one step better and winning it? I want to be in Madrid. Every Liverpool fan wants to be in Madrid. It starts tonight. Everything else beforehand, irrelevant. Tonight is your road to Madrid. Come on, Liverpool. We can do this. Come on, Red Men. 2-0. Let's do it. Let's also prove why we should be taken seriously this season in more than one competition. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like like subscribe a comment and uh yeah i'll do a video after the game tonight and hopefully fingers crossed we'll have beat psg and uh yeah be into that last 16 which we still need red star to i think fail to beat napoli or whatever but we beat psg tonight it's done we'll be still in the champions league after christmas so come on but i uh, know thanks for watching guys all the best